Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on because as an artist I'm asked all the time how do you um, take a photo, horse, person, building, whatever, and enlarge it onto a canvas and keep the proportions and make it look like the picture. Um, this is a little trick I use and it's something probably millions of other artists do. It's nothing new. It's just how I learned to do it. So um, this is, I don't know if a lot of you might remember, one of my recent horse paintings. Um, this was the picture I used and this is the finished painting after I, I don't know if you can see that well the lights shining on it a little weird But there he is What I did is you take the picture and I made a grid and I cropped it where I wanted it to be cropped and that's how it was blown up then onto the canvas um move this here out of the way. This was another painting I did of a horse that's on a very large canvas and the way I kept the proportions was I picked how where I wanted to crop it from and I drew my little grid and then I drew the grid on the canvas and then um, filled in each little square and I'm going to show you how I do that. This is a 24 by 32 canvas and um, if you know me at all, you know I love my cats. And this is my cat, Lulu. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to blow her up onto the canvas. I, you have to do a little, I guess, composition work there. This is how I wanted her to look once she's blown up on there. She's going to be have a very big face. I've had this for years. I use it all the time. It's kind of like a little conversion scale. Um, so if it's 24 by 32, I had to make when I decided I wanted it to be this long. This is about three and a half. So what you do on this little scale is you take three and a half and line it up with the 32. I don't know if you can see that. Three and a half lines up to 32. So then you have to go to the 24 and it's two and five eighths. 24 by 32 on here equals two and five eighths by three and a half. So that's what I made my grid. So that way, when I draw each little square onto here, it's going to come out in perfect proportion looking like that. It's like art 101. This is probably one of the first things I learned when I was in art class in high school. Okay, if you get distracted at all like I do sometimes, it helps to make a little piece of paper like this where you can block out all the rest of the image. So right now I'm just going to concentrate on this square, this square, and I'm just going to concentrate on the shape I'm drawing. All right, one square done. Then we move on to the next. All you're doing when you're drawing this is just concentrating on the shape that you're looking at. You're not thinking about it being a cat ear or somebody's eye or someone's nose. It's just a shape. Okay, I think I got kind of like the rough area. You didn't see it all. See, she's drawn out in the perfect proportion. And then I will go back and take my time and put in the details, fix little things I think need to be fixed. There's a lot of detail in the eye, and sometimes if I can't see the eye really good, I'll blow it up on my computer then so I can see the details in there. I don't like to wear reading glasses when I'm trying to draw. So anyway, that's how I do it. and. I will show you all the finished product after she's painted. All right, guys.